Welcome back to God Eater 2 Rage Burst Part 47. And let's pick up where we left off, which was finishing defending the Furry's Branch. Uh, let's see what's next. Leek has called blood to assemble at the Guard Arc Storage Vault. I'll head there now. This way. Welcome back. So, were the God Arcs functioning all right out there? Not quite. They just stopped working for a little while. What happened? When the Aragami Horde turned away, it seemed like everyone's God Arcs stopped working. Rumor has it there was a power outage over the entire branch. In a manner of speaking, all Oracle cells in a wide range shut down temporarily. Something emitted a blast that froze every Oracle cell in the immediate vicinity. Anything that runs on them went down in a flash. A few Aragami just crumbled when the blast hit them. Their cells necrotized and they were just... gone. The origin point of the blast was right here. The only conclusion we've been able to come up with is that somehow Romeo's blood power activated to save you. Romeo's power? I so totally knew it was. It had to be Romeo. Then you all felt that same power? Yeah. It was the same one we sensed when Romeo died and Julius came back alone. I could never forget that feeling. Romeo's God Arc has been dormant since he... died. We've been trying to access it, but to no avail. Then all of a sudden, this happens. You all unleashed your blood power in that battle. That might have caused some resonance with whatever power remained. You mean his God Arc is still working? It may sound strange, but it's almost better to say, still alive. It's gone dormant again, but there is power there. Still alive? A god arc is essentially a man-made origami. It lives, it breathes, keeping pace along with its wielder. There is a chance, however small, that Romeo's soul still lives on inside his god arc. But I... I have no option but to seal it away. It's dormant now, but if it awakens again, it could lash out. Another unseen power outage would be a catastrophe. I'm sad to say, but she's right. Romeo's power to repel Oracle Cell activity is dangerous at best. It could be fatal at worst. I swear I will continue to study his God Arc. I may need your help in the future. I know I can always count on you. That's interesting. So, let's check in with everybody, see what they have to say. The successful repulsion of the Ark Aberrant means the investigation of the Spiral Tree can resume. Livy's opening in the tree is still holding up, I hear, but the contamination is bad. I hope we can get in easily. Alright, where are we now? Thank goodness we managed to drive them off. For a minute there, I wasn't sure we would make it. And Brandon? That was a tough fight, alright. The Argarmy sure picked a good time to give up, though. The power outage the Far East branch experienced, so it was caused by Romeo's blood power after all. Emergency power, the anti origami wall, too many things rely on Oracle technology right now. Sealing Romeo's God Arc may be our only choice at this point. Did you hear? Romeo's blood power was repel. It sounds really strong, it's just, I don't know, not very Romeo-like, you know? Arg army activity has quieted down as a result of Repel's power, so we will be resuming the investigation. Oracle Cell triggered weather conditions are making the entrance dangerous. Head to the Old Soldier Warehouse. Are you ready? Okay. Glossy Black. 
Okay then. More silkies. Fun. Oh, friend. Myself. I'll grab Alyssa. Then Coda and Arena. That'll be good. All numbers within normal limits. Okay. Let's hit this thing. Okay, that died immediately. That's good to know. Okay, everything's coming here now. Okay, so that did good damage to Silky. Ow. Come on. Just die, Silky. Nice. We got it. Alright, now just uh, focus on this tank. Oh, there's another Sylvie. Where did that one come from? Let's put this away. Then let's try to hit this. There we go. Okay, so far, Silky's almost dead. Shouldn't be too much longer, I don't think. Okay, it's targeting Gil. For whatever reason. There we go. Okay, so far, so good. The small ones are dead. Let's just skip to the tank. And I got kicked in the head. Okay. So... I need to try to hit its chest if I want to... Be the most damage. But I don't think my blood art does that. Not very effectively. And no, it doesn't. Let's block this. Should try to maybe hit the missile pods at some point. If I can. I'm not sure if uh, any of the bullets I have will let me just aim more if I want. They might be homing rounds. Oh. Alright, I just broke. Okay. Let's just focus on this thing. Ow. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, nice. So that does hit the uh, chest area. Interesting. Let's try to hit its head, hopefully. I don't know if I did. <laughs> I don't even know where I hit. I don't think I hit anything with that. I think I missed. It looked like I hit, but I don't think I did. Here's a good 6,000 damage. Okay. That was pretty good. They would mention something about Cappy at some point. Also, this is the max leveled uh, chaser, but I don't think it really changed much between level 3 and 4. Just does more damage, but that's about it. I just wanted to test it here in a mission. I hope I can help, even a little. Fast acting. Okay. Wrath of Revenge. And Battle Cry. Okay. It's 
pretty quick. I think I might switch to a um, parrying attack again. We have news about the spiral tree. A tempest made of activated oracle cells prevents us from getting anywhere near the inside. Just as before, if blood can't find a way to do it, then no one can. Agreed. None of our control devices have nearly enough capacity to stop the storm. Could we harness the force you suggested in your report concerning the recent power outage? You mean Romeo's blood power? Potentially, I guess. It may be able to deactivate the storm cells. There's still so much we don't know about blood power. Who knows if we'll be able to control it? Who knows indeed? This is owed more consideration than... Thank you for your help, Doctor. Director? I... I have something to say, if I may speak freely. Hmm. It's the only way, isn't it? I didn't want to put you in that position. Livy's now going to be taking Romeo's God Arc for a bit. I'm sure she'll be fine. Let's just see what's next. Make sure I speak of Livy first. Hmm. Do you need something? Lost in thought. Oh, don't worry about it. It's nothing. Thanks for thinking of me. I'm counting on you for this next mission as well. Okay. I've received a new mission for blood. Is everyone ready? Director Feldman has asked to hear your mission briefing in the meeting room after you return. As soon as you return, please head straight there. Okay. Nova Sneg. Okay, so we have a Chrome Gawain and a Polar Gabor Gabor. Okay then. Um, you know what? Let's just stick with the two of us. I think we should be able to handle it. Support is ready at your command. The business. All right. Okay. The now. Uh, that'll be fine. No. Can you stay still, please? Oh, come on, really? Is this thing really dodging my stuns right now? There we go. There we go. Holy rocked. That's good. Let's see if I can't try to get this blood art working from time to time. It'll aim at me to hit. Guess not. <laughs> I just keep stunning the thing before it can, uh, hit. Pretty good. Didn't really escape the bear. It's standing right in front of us. Damn it. Too early. And it's running away again. <laughs> okay. So... Ooh, that was some good damage right there. Damn it. Come on. Oh, it broke its arms. Nice. Damn it, didn't have the stamina to block that. Okay, let's see here. Fulfilled. Oh. Back here. Okay. Keeps seeming to miss me, so... 
Uh, let's store some more reserve. Then try to get this thing's attention again. So far, this thing's been pretty easy to kill. Yeah, I'm a little too early for that spin attack. Let's try to break its back legs. Oh no. <laughs> yep, we found it, alright. Thank you, Livy. It's gonna lose my blood art. Or, not blood art, my burst, if uh, she didn't do that. Don't know the timing on that attack yet. <laughs> so be it. I'll learn it at some point. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, she still is using uh, Romeo's. Well, not Romeo's. Julius's God Arc so far. Damn it. Okay. Let's see what's gonna happen next. Come on. Okay, I just keep doing more damage than I need to, so it just doesn't give me a chance to use my parry. Although I'm still terrible at timing it. I'm surprised I have enough stamina to block that. I'm out of stamina, and that is <laughs> right into its mouth right there. I almost have enough to pull Oracle Reserves. That's actually kind of interesting. First time I've accomplished that. <laughs> Okay, we haven't done anything bond-wise to this thing. Come on, really? Thought it might hit me if that sprint of bits uh, that it uses. Come on. Seriously. <sighs> well, might as well just use this. Oh, that used a lot of those. Okay, let's just use a charred swing on it. On its horn. That was its horn. Okay, that's fine. I completely missed. Or maybe I didn't. Let's add some more reserves, switch to a uh, different blue bullet. Okay. Come on, blood. Or, not blood, Livy. <laughs> Stay alive. Space doesn't work for that. <laughs> oh damn, I thought I was gonna get out of that. There we go. I wasn't sure if I could hit that with that uh, attack. But now that I know I can, that's good. Damn it. I didn't trigger my parry before that attack was finished. Okay, really? That's unfortunate. I cannot see. Stop pushing me into a wall. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Just my luck. That I'd miss and not have enough oracle to shoot again. <laughs> 
They have some good damage. I'd hit its back tail again. I don't think I did. No, I hit its... Oh wait, yeah I did. I think it was on its fin, but it was close enough to hit the uh, tail with the AoE. Explosion it does. Okay, you are quite stubborn. Uh, this is fine. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, thank you, Livy. for killing that. That didn't go as well as I was hoping it would. But I'm still getting used to this parry again, so that will take a little while. Okay. I don't think I have enough to even do this. No, I don't. Yeah, it's worth a shot, just for fun. I've collected all but one resource lying around. That's pretty good. Um, let's do Blood Art Chance to awaken. Let's try this then. Or a cannon. Okay. So that removes damage to melee attack. Strange. Raging Blade. Okay. Cool gunner. Wow, oh, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, I did get some decent percentage up for the rage counter. Wasn't sure if I was going to. First, I must beg your forgiveness. These catastrophes that have befallen us all may be laying at my feet. I apologize. Still, there is a chance to fix matters. I cannot do it alone. I'll need each and every one of you. You have my thanks. To begin, we must verify all we know. Dr. Rachel managed to deceive Cujo. She asked him to bind the Emeth device into the tree. The device awakened her. Now her will holds both Julius and the Spiral Tree in her sway. Once more, she aims to unleash the apocalypse. Unless we can rescue Julius, she will succeed. And that brings us to our plan of attack. Please, observe. As before, we will carve out a path and secure it with the control devices. Our main obstacle is the constant vortex of active oracle cells that guard the entrances. We believe we can use the same power that forced the Aragami Mass Retreat to get past. The resonance from Romeo's God Arc attenuates oracle cells. It can even slay weaker Aragami. Using the power bound up in his God Arc, we'll dissipate the oracle cells and enter the tree. We have no control over Romeo's God Arc. His power can't tell the difference between Aragami Oracle Cells and our God Arcs. Livy does have control, or rather, she can. In time, she can bond with his God Arc and gain some measure of command over it. What say you, Director Sakaki? All of Blood will serve as a support unit for Corporal Livy, so she can give her complete focus to controlling Romeo's God Arc. Captain, as with Julius's Arc, your evoke skill may help her to draw forth some latent powers. I want you to stay by her side every waking moment. We will range into the tree, find the source of Rachel's will, and eradicate it. Once our mission is complete, we will find a way to save Julius. Only he can stop the apocalypse. Any questions? Oh, Dr. Cujo. A team dug through Cujo's logs and journal entries. It revealed a mass of unreported meetings with Dr. Rachel. We're still sussing out the details, but right now it seems more than likely she abused his affection for her. Rachel was clever. She brought him into her scheme as a failsafe to ensure that even if she died for the cause, an apocalypse would rise. Pull it up on screen. 
As you can see, Cujo secretly installed the Emeth device in one of our control safeties outside the tree. It was triggered, or timed, to release during the dedication ceremony. You all saw how that ended. I suspect the doctor's primary goal was to stall Julius, thus creating a path for Cujo himself to enter. His secondary task was to compile a device that would serve to reconstitute Rachel's will once he had broken free. Once deployed, it did just that, locating and rebonding what remained of Rachel. Once the entire construct was under her control, she was able to seek out another source for the apocalypse. About the MF device. I can tell you what I know about the MF device. Upon examining Kujo's terminal, I discovered blueprints for a modified version of the device. It began as a form of the autonomous control system developed for unmanned Godarch soldiers. But it can do far more than just that. You see, the entire concept of the Emeth device was Rachel's. It was meant to stall Julius and recompile Rachel's memory once she was consumed by the tree. Oh, Romeo's power. Romeo's blood power repels oracle cells. It shuts them down. It affects anything with oracle cells, right? So, God arcs and bias factors are just as vulnerable. Precisely. God eaters are not exempt. It is a perfect double edged blade. If we're to stand any chance at all, it is with Livy holding some measure of control over his God arc. I'm all right, thanks. A few final matters to attend to. We need far more than Fenrir intelligence. HQ, the Far East, and Cradle, all are necessary. We'll need outriders in the tree, a secure base camp, and reliable supply lines. What say you? Cradle is well versed in building satellite bases. That should serve. Later on, we'll have Alyssa meet with the old man to figure out the details. We're facing a threat unlike any before. Thank you for all you've done. Okay. Uh, let's speak with everyone. I heard everything from Soma. Leave the setting up of base camp in the spiral tree to cradle. I'm counting on you. That's my line. Good luck. We're hurrying up to make plans and assemble equipment now. You'll be able to use it soon. Okay. The whole situation with Livy bonding with Romeo's god arc. Is it really okay? What do you mean? I'm talking about Livy's physical condition. When she tried to bond with Julius's god arc, her face was twisted, as if in great pain. I understand that we have no choice, but I'm just hoping there aren't any bad repercussions. I plan to keep extra close watch. Okay. It's pretty amazing that Romeo's blood power can easily take out weaker Aragami. But it's even more amazing how Livy is trying to control it herself. Come on, we can't get left behind. Alright. Uh, let's just speak of Gina since she's here. I don't care what the mission is. In the end, my job is the same. Planting my beautiful flower seeds into Aragami's skulls. I wonder what kind of flowers will bloom in the spiral tree. Okay. Uh, I'll do one more mission. Sorry for making you do this, but don't worry, I'll control Romeo's god arc no matter what. Because I have to. I've received a new mission for blood. Okay. Another unknown Aragami. And the Demerage. Um, let's just grab some others just to make this mission a bit more quick. Uh, those two will be fine. Conditions have been fulfilled. Link support device is spinning up. Your 
Feels weird go, to see go, go. Uh, Romeo's got her out in the field again. <laughs> First thing I noticed was that orange of his uh, gutter. Okay. I think Gil would be quite useful for this because uh, I think his gutter will puncture the front legs faster. Well, not Julius, but uh, Romeo's was. I think we briefly saw it, but I don't know what it was called. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Everything seems to be fine. Heal quickly. Let me use my blood burst. No, I don't want to do five thousand there. I don't think I can do five thousand damage on the hit. There we go. Hopefully this will let me kill this thing faster. There we go. Nice. Both broken now. Alright. Let's do this. Not anymore. <laughs> Nice, I was able to get that, uh... Blood rage limit is imminent. It's bringing away. Uh, blood art, huh? of Hannibal. Wait, why did I say that was unknown? I could have swore I fought one of those in the story missions. Weird. Whatever. Yes, let's just deal with it. Same bonds as a normal Hannibal. Bonds. That'll work. I think I can get three devourers off quite quickly. Oh crap. I didn't realize I selected the 5,000 damage one hit. Because I don't think I can do that. That was just a uh, mistake on my part. Didn't realize I selected that. This, this, none, no. There we go. Let's try this now. Get these devourers off. Oh, I need four devourers. Okay. That should be easy enough. Damn it. 
Come on. Let's go. There we go. Got it. Nice. Thought I wasn't gonna get it for a second there. Let's see. You are simply great at what you do. The Cross of Hannibal is now dead. Yeah, Hannibals aren't that bad. Originally, I always thought they were very tough, but if you know what you're doing, it shouldn't be too bad. Better turn on my Oracle Reserve. Do that. Let's try this then. I'll just grab bananas as well. Just like that, I made you smile. I hope I can help. Even a little. Ninja's taste. Okay. Way of defense. Great luck. Breathless absorb. And silent butterfly. Alright, so that'll be the end of this episode. Next episode will be up on Monday, and until next time.